Hi friends! Today we're going to do some printmaking with some simple materials, some temper paint, a brush, and a CD. CDs we used to use to listen to music. Now, not so much, but they might still be floating around your house. So today I have a whole bunch in the art room and we're going to start making them into flowers. So I'm thinking about individual flower petals here and I've chosen a few analogous colors in my mind. They're actually the warm colors and they're next to each other on the color wheel. So as soon as you choose colors that are next to, you know that you're gonna get nice, pleasing, bright colors when you mix. I'm just quickly cleaning my brush on the paper towel in between. When colors are related like this, you don't really have to go crazy cleaning your brush. Just make sure that all the big drips are off and you should be able to dip into a new color. Now I'm pressing it to the paper lightly, just rubbing all around. You don't have to press too hard and you don't wanna leave it on your paper too long or it might get stuck. Wow, that's pretty cool. I made a flower with some interesting petals. Now, instead of cleaning off my CD for my next flower, I'm gonna keep going with colors that are similar, cleaning my brush when I'm changing a color, and this time I'm drawing some curved lines around. I'm actually picturing the flower petal shape. I'm not getting too specific because I know when I press down the CD, the colors are gonna squish a little bit. That's okay. That's what printmaking is all about. I chose a little bit of peach and some white. White's gonna lighten everything up. Now I'm gonna choose a different place on my paper. Rub, rub, rub. Press it to the paper. And very carefully, I like to lift my paper up a little bit before I peel it off. It just helps get that CD off. Okay, so now if you do wanna change your colors completely, so say I wanna do cool colors now, I am going to wipe my CD with a wet paper towel. You could use a wipe, whatever I give you and it comes off pretty clean, you can just start again. This time I'm starting from the middle and making some flower petals that go from the middle out. Notice this time I did not paint all the way to the edge of my CD. I was thinking about how I wanted the edge to be a little more rough like actual flower petals and not like a perfect circle. So I encourage you to think about how you want the outside of your flower to look and if you do want it to look more flower-like, don't paint all the way to the edge. Here's a new flower, I like that one. So you can vary the colors as much as you want and I encourage you to, when you do two prints, one after the other, think about using similar colors for at least two flowers. That'll save you some time. You don't have to clean it every time. Now I'm using a Q-tip and I'm actually drawing some lines into the paint before I press it onto my paper. So it's taking paint off the CD wherever I draw with the Q-tip. So now I'm pressing it again in a different location. You can overlap your flowers. I also decided that that last cool color one was a little dark since we're on black paper. So you can also print right on top of a flower that you think needs a little more pop of color. So really try different things. It's really fun to just try different things as you're printmaking and make each color, each flower unique. I made a little flower there if you noticed because I thought that those big flowers were a little more, little too much in a square, um, looked a little boring to me. So I thought, oh, I could squeeze a little one right in the middle. Now I'm making a ghost print. A ghost print is when you don't put any new paper, any new paint on your CD or whatever you're printing with, and you just press it down on your paper again. So it'll be lighter because some of the paint already came off with your previous flower, but that's the whole idea. Sometimes you just might want a lighter effect, almost like it's fading into the background. So I really liked my brush strokes where they started in the middle of the CD and went out. So I'm just doing that again with some new colors. And um, white, remember white is your friend, especially on black paper. Some of the colors like yellow, they look um, not quite as bright. You can see through them, them a little bit. So adding white to any of your colors will really make the colors pop on the black paper. You can use your Q-tips to stamp different designs on your CD before you press it to the paper. There's so many different things you can do here. Take your time as I'm doing here to really think about where you wanna place it before you stick it down. This is called composition. So how we arrange the different parts of our picture onto our paper. Speaking of composition, our flowers need some leaves. So I'm using a round brush, that's the pointy style brush, and I'm just drawing a football shape. So just a curved line, and then a curved line going the opposite direction, and they meet in the corners, and you have a leaf. So I'm drawing with the green, and then I'm adding a little white to make it pop a little more on the, on the black paper. Um, and I'm just placing leaves wherever I think they should go. I encourage you to leave a little bit of space in between your leaves and 
the flower. This isn't exactly like real life, right? It's a little bit abstract. It's more of a flower design. So just look for the empty spaces and those will be great places for leaves. I'm adding a little yellow now because I decided that I wanted my green to be a little brighter. So you can really kind of write on your paper, mix the type of green that you would like for your leaves. I hope I've given you a lot of ideas today about how we can make a beautiful flower design with printmaking and CDs, just something you might have lying around your house. And we definitely have a lot in the art room. I'm gonna finish this off when my paint is dry. So this will be another class with some paint pens. So you'll see me doing that in just a moment. So I'm gonna finish up my artwork and then I'm so excited to see what you create. Thank <music> you.